have uh, heavy weights for housing, CPI in particular. In the CPI, the housing weight is, I think, around 35 percent. It's uh, the sing shelter is the single largest weight, uh, I believe, in, in the CPI. And so it, it, it's very impactful. And one of the ways we did, uh, showed that in a recent blog that we did, which I think, uh, you know, I, I, I commend to you because we really dive into your question uh, for, on the CEA website, is uh, we pointed out that if you look at core inflation over the past year in the CPI, that that's inflation without uh, energy and food, 3.2%. Core inflation CPI without shelter, half of that, 1.6%. So it really gives you a flavor of how heavy that weight is. Now, there are two things going on with housing prices in the CPI. One is cyclical or mechanical, and the other is, or maybe call it, you know, something, well, one is, is cyclical or mechanical, and the other is structural. So the mechanical part is that as rental inflation has rolled over, and it really has, I mean, uh, the inflation of rents was highly elevated. It's now back to levels that we saw pre-pandemic, and this is rental inflation now, not rental not about the price level, but the inflation. As that has rolled over, most CPI analysts have expected that to filter into the index by now. We haven't seen that. It's a bit of a head-scratcher. Uh, I think Powell talked about it yesterday. He referenced that the other part of shelter costs, owner equivalent rent, which I won't get into the details, um, that's been uh, coming in uh, stronger than expected. So, uh, uh, but, but simply based on the mechanics of the lags and the rollover in rental inflation, uh, we still expect that to show up as easing in the, in, in the CPI's housing component. But where we, but much more important from our perspective and from the Biden administration, I'd say the Biden-Harris administration, because Vice President Harris has ambitious plans, is to deal with the structural problem. We have a 15-year in the making shortage of affordable housing in this country. 15 years in the making, millions of uh, units shortfall. Um, and this is a market failure. And when there's a market failure, even the most classically oriented economists believe that there is uh, uh, important space for government intervention. And Vice President Harris and President Biden have, uh, I think, very uh, uh, important and some of, in, in many cases, tried and true policy measures that would help reduce that shortfall, expanding the low income housing tax credit subsidizing developing and building uh, in, in ways that would make those deals, that make those developments pencil out in a way that they don't right now. Uh, we could spend a lot more time talking about housing policy, but you can, you can find it out there. I think addressing that shortfall is absolutely critical. I'd call it one of the biggest pieces of unfinished business we have, but we can't do it by ourselves. Congress needs to work with us, and there is zero reason why this should be a red or a blue or a D or an R issue. This shortage is pervasive in states across the nation. Uh, on the Middle East, uh, so... When it comes to geopolitical conflict, there are other people who can stand up here and talk about that with more authority. What I'll say is from an economic perspective, uh, of course, we monitor uh, that very closely. Uh, but uh, I think it's uh, instructive, important, and uh, in, in the context of my discussion to you today about how working families are doing, the breathing room that folks have been getting from low gas prices at the pump relative to where we were a year ago is really remarkable, especially when you consider the extent of geopolitical conflict in an area where a lot of uh, an area of the world where, where where energy is often produced and 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 shipped, and you know this morning the gas price was three dollars and twenty two cents a gallon. I believe that's sixty eight cents per gallon down from where it was a year ago. That's real breathing room. It's one of the reasons why year over year CPI uh, is two point five percent in the last three, close to where it was pre pandemic, and uh, we think that's you know important piece of breathing room. We would also argue that uh, the president's fingerprints. Uh, have been on that, both whether it's a matter of uh, the release of the strategic reserve, but also record energy production from all sources.